What is up guys? It's so much. Welcome back. We are playing Little Lords of Twilight. This is a new game that just came out and I'm going to go ahead and open up this right here. We're getting some new spells. Ice shard trap. Nice. I uh, needed some extra traps. This is actually really good already. Mad Kid Shove. Shoves enemy only two tiles. Have another ability so that kind of helps and fireball. Okay, so we got a new ability. And that's got burn good so little lords of twilight is a pvp strategy game all right take a look you start out with this chick right here and you level up you go into arena matches you're one versus one it's really simple and we're going to get into it but first i want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by tink media i want to thank you guys so much for doing that it's awesome and there is going to be links in the description where you can download this game guys if you like strategy if you like pvp this game is going to be for you now we're going to go ahead and jump into a match i'm going to show you what everything is and currently on the main screen uh you see the what they call the sun pop which is the daytime and the nightfall which is the nighttime they are different you have different abilities that you have when you are in this see the range right now is less now it's more you have more movement speed with the night pop just depending on stuff as you level up you actually get to advance differently and also guys they have a thing running right now that's going to start the 27th through the 29th only you can get a free skin on one of your characters all you got to do is use the code pax 2017 I'll also have that in the description for you as well so you have a reminder all right so we take down our opponent to win or we enter their portal so there's two different ways to win this and here's the coin flip two goes to him one goes to me and it's the opponent's turn first so he gets to go first all right so basically what you are is you're that hero that you selected and to begin with you have the ability to make a move and you can summon one minion at a time you can only have two minions with you at a time and it's my turn already so we are going to check we have mana right there so what i usually try to do is sneak out and try to grab some mana early game because this is what you really rely on for your spells is mana but you can only have a certain limit of it see i already have three mana currently so i'm going to let's see let's set a trap on that mana because i have a feeling that's where he is going to go so we're going to set that trap right there and we are pretty much done for this fight so top left we just hit done let's wait on him see what he does and i was right he moved he did pick up that mana but we stunned that guy now both of his uh minions that he can summon have ranged abilities uh my guy right here little gnome he only has an ability uh that does i believe it's two blocks so if i select him and i tag this guy this should kill him now boom nice and let's see we are there we go he's destroyed now we have another guy that we can summon out which is a ragdoll and uh let's put him right here that way he's not close enough to be affected by this other guy one of his guys actually can hit both of you uh so you kind of have to learn what can do what now i'm going to throw a shield on this guy the chick i'm using she's not really made to go out there and just initiate uh you have to utilize your minions and it looks like i'm pretty much done now you do have a timer if you didn't notice you've got about 45 seconds to completely use your turn so if you have all four of your guys out or all three of your guys out which is your main hero to your two minions you're going to have to move them use their abilities or use your spells or whatever you want to do for that turn within 45 seconds so you got to be it's it's kind of like a game of chess uh but it's a really fast paced quick thinking and we are going to attack let's see let's go ahead and take out his minion right here And this one right here we're going to move here and go ahead and kill him and with my main chick we're going to move her back to the base now the reason I'm doing this is if that person were to stand right there for one turn they would actually win the match 
All right, so if somebody makes it to your base and stands right there for one complete turn, they are going to win. See, that's exactly what he was gonna try to do. But right now I've got both minions out. Now this guy can do about three damage in one attack, especially if he's got the spells and the attack, he's gonna bring out a skunk. So he's trying something a little different. I haven't really seen somebody do. Uh, he's trying to approach and just straight out kill me and left my minions back here and didn't even think about them. All right, so we're gonna get a shot in with that guy. Let's check this guy. Uh, we're not gonna get enough range on him. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna attack him. All right, and for this chick, what we need to do, uh, we have some spells that we could use and that's about it. So let's attack him. And I'm gonna wait and use that healing spell. Actually, he can do too much damage. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and heal myself and that healed my minion up as well. And game, and that's his turn. Right. So here comes the attack. Oh, he's actually going for the minions first. That's odd. That's really weird. He could have probably killed me right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon another one of these guys. Actually, let's put him right here. And let's see what else we want to do. This guy. Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and start creeping him back this way. He had that shield on, so he didn't really take any damage. I probably could have did that just a minute ago and got him already over there attacking this guy. But what we need to do now is I'm going to drop a trap. Actually, we're going to save that mana and use that pushback ability if we survive this level. So let's go ahead and end the turn. He's still going to creep up behind him and get a shot in. But if I can get him close enough, ah, he's going to go for the kill shot on him. Hey, that's okay with me. That's just fine. Because that gives me time to turn right back around and do this. I can drop him again. And I'm going to put him right here pretty much to kind of block him from getting in. And now what we're going to do is basically we're going to clear this out. So this guy is uh, going to get shoved back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him away from me. And that'll give me time to recuperate a little bit, hopefully. And uh, let's see what he does. Basically right now, I'm just wanting to defend. He's still gonna get a shot off. Hopefully he doesn't have mana recuperated. Good, he's gonna attack, good. Now you see my gnome, he took his attention. He kept him from actually getting too close to me. So this might be a good thing. It might keep him from actually physically attacking me. He's gonna use some spells. All right, he killed the gnome. So that was my defensive play. And now let's see what do I have left. Okay, that chick is stunned. All right, I'm stunned. So I'm gonna have to advance, attack him with this guy. And uh, let's just take a wild guess that he's gonna try to do something, but I'm stunned. So all I can do is that heal and that's it. So it's kind of even three to three. He's going to take another shot and he's probably going to get two shots in with this guy and that's going to be the game. That's one. And he does, he's got the, yep. And he had the one attack left. All right, we're going to go another round since those uh, seem to last fairly quick. Uh, we actually got someone different this time and looks like we got second turn again 
So I'm facing uh, the basically exact same person that I am, the uh, chick you start out with. All right, and she's using Mad Gnome. Actually, uh, she's right there. So she came out and used Mad Gnome. All right, so I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive than this person is, and I'm gonna go for that mana. And let's see, get over here. That's pretty much all we could do, except we could drop a trap already. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop one comes in actually let's go ahead and save that what are you gonna do all right she's advancing and pulling out the plush doll that was kind of a waste of a heal because now I mean it, it doesn't do anything for him All right, so here we go. I'm gonna try and use this wall to my advantage. And there's the sun pop right there. Watch when I hit it, it turns it into nightfall. So you could use that ability right there to your advantage as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is let's take a look at some of these traps I have. Uh, I have this one here. It's gonna be able to do what? one damage and a stun so when the chick walks across it it's gonna damage and stun them and we'll save that one for the next turn and let's see what does she want to do gonna use a hidden spell herself okay so she's setting a trap somewhere as well I'm gonna basically assume it's one of these two tiles right up here above my plush doll and let's see if she starts to move any of those minions. Curious to see. Oh, she moved herself. Oh, that was lucky. Wow. All right, so is she gonna stop right there? Nope, she's advancing forward. He's only got two attack range, so I know he can't hit me from there. Bam, got that one. Nice. All right, my turn. All right, 45 seconds on the clock, and let's see. Is that too close? I don't want to, let's see. I don't want to get too close with myself yet. So we're just gonna start playing a little safe, and uh, we're gonna bait her in. I'm gonna set a trap right there on the middle. That way she can't get in from there. And I'm just gonna step back a little bit and let this guy go in and uh, take a shot on her. Make her have to heal herself. The minions, I'm not too, too worried about dying. I mean, they, they'll come back. All right, we didn't get that last turn in. You gotta be quick to get them all in. She is attacking that guy, of course. So she's going to kill that plush doll. Pretty sure she's going to take the gnome and hit him from the top because he's got a range of two. Yep. Well, she moved up and picked up the mana. Good play. And that should kill off my plush doll right there. Now I can set another one to block that entrance if she does get in there. Now, they probably can't go at an angle through that. So it might be a good thing to uh, actually just go up there and do. Uh, looks like she put a shield on one of them. I would assume, yeah, her gnome. You seen it just flash right there. And let's see, what do we want to do? Any other plays? Uh, go ahead and grab this. That's a plus two move range. And we're gonna drop him right into here. And any spells, anything we can do? No, nothing really. So, actually, let's go ahead and pull this guy back out. But well, we're gonna take a little bit of different approach. We're gonna go down bottom with him. And I wonder if I could outplay her and get to her base. Uh, it's everything I could do right now, so it's 
turns over. And for a strategy-based PvP game, this is really fun. The graphics are pretty nice. Uh, for mobile, I mean, 45 seconds per turn, that's not bad. She's got the move range as well. See what she advances to, all right. He's pretty much gonna suicide with that guy because he's gonna die the next turn just by my plush doll. And let's see, what does he do with the gnome? Take the gnome through the trap, please. Come on, you can do it. Nope, he's dropping bottom with the gnome, okay. All right, so I'm gonna ditch my guys at bottom. All right, this guy, let's go ahead and let him kill that. It's gonna take three hits to kill that gnoll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm ditching my plush doll down there and we're gonna go up here. Let's uh, actually, let's move kind of back uh, to uh, this area. Probably not gonna be expecting that, but I've got full mana saved up. I can't really hit anybody from here. And there's nothing I could do there. So let's go back up here with this guy. And that's it. So they're gonna kill my plush doll now. It's probably gonna be one of the first things she does. Let's zoom out a little bit. You can pretty much control the map. Uh, the whole time unless it's pretty much a kill shot on something that's when it kind of takes over see I didn't do that right there it zooms in just basically telling you that hey you're losing something so that's a pretty cool feature and you can zoom in again and that should pretty much be it for her turn she summoned that guy and killed a plush unless she's got some traps or something to drop uh, she's not gonna make it very very far and that's what kind of was my idea was to kind of get close enough to her to drop some stuff but I'm gonna use some of these uh, I want to use some of these spells on her and one two three four hopefully I can attack her straight across from there I cannot so the range on that's not big enough, so I just moved myself into a very, very bad position right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and block them off. They're both stuck there now. And there's really not a whole lot I could actually do. I can't reach anybody with any of these spells. I really didn't mean to use that healing spell. Okay, the healing spell, that's kind of weird. It just healed her... That, that, that's really weird I just healed my enemy <laughs> oh my goodness all right so here's the lightning on this guy he's gonna be stunned the lightning did do damage though so he's gonna survive this attack but he's not gonna be viable for the next one he's basically gonna be a ploy because I could drop him right back down so she basically kind of just wasted a turn Cause I'm gonna put that guy right back there got the uh, gnome down there that just moved and here goes her wasted turn so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this guy right back there and we're gonna get a little aggressive with it let's go ahead and push him up and her Let's see here we go ah that's really a waste nothing else nope nothing else all right so we kind of got a little bit of an advantage until her other gnome gets up here so uh okay here's the distant stun she's doing it on the uh, plush doll again Bam, and she's gonna take another hit. Bam. Okay, so did he survive that? She has nothing that he survived. Oh, nice. 
All right, select one spell to discard. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? I'm not too fond of that right now. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's the same thing. It's a stun. All right, we got another trap, good. <clears throat> So what I want to do is move right here and I actually just want to destroy everything I can real quick. I've got a lot of spells to drop and that took two mana. That get done. Uh, let's uh, drop that right there. See if she tries to retreat with anything. And yeah, that's pretty much, uh, well, I, I could have possibly gotten an attack in right there, but it was a little too late. All right, they're both gonna take damage again after their turn because of that fire. That's one spell I got earlier from a mag hits, and that's really the only things you can change except for your passive abilities, which is the ability right to uh, the left of my picture at the bottom. Uh, you'll see that again when it comes up. Now I'm trying to figure out what she's doing with that gnome down there. All right, he killed that guy. And let's see what he's got. I still got that heal ability, so I'm not too too concerned. But I don't want to heal him again. All right, so we're gonna try to go full force on it. And uh, let's see, this does absolutely no damage, I believe. Yeah, correct. It does no damage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this guy right back into place. And let's move this guy. Um, actually, let's move him right here because he could still attack that far. Let's just go ahead and start killing this guy. And let's drop a. Let's drop another one right here just in case. Oh, waited too long to make the decision. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Defend or stay alive. Now I've got a shield on uh, the plush doll, looks like. All right, she's going to heal everybody. Oh, she just healed herself. Hmm. Okay. All right, that thing's definitely dead, and she left herself open. He's gonna hit one damage on my gnome, and she's gonna do one damage to that thing. Okay, that was uh, that was kind of an odd move, but I'm going to uh. See if we can't make her pay for it. So I'm going to move back here to where they can't touch me. Uh, I'll just go ahead and kill this guy. So I should be out of range of all of her stuff now. All right, and I'm going to move this guy. Actually, let's just let him attack. If he dies, that's okay. And I want to drop another trap. Unit not in range. Uh, okay, that's a shield. My bad. All right, let's go ahead and heal. Ah, I didn't get to heal myself. All right, so she kills him. She used that ability, so basically she wasted uh, a movement. And he just tried to move. Is he going to attack with that one? No, he can't because they can't attack at corners. They can only attack straight lines. So he kind of just wasted that move. He was trying to get up there to attack me. I kind of had myself blocked. He has no other plays right now. He can throw down a trap. That's it. All right. So it's my turn again. So what we're going to do is we're going to make him pay for this. Double click on him, he's dead. 
He's dead. Yep, he's dead, definitely. All right, and now we have spells that we could use. That's too far out of range, so let's just go ahead and uh, basically uh, heal up, and that's it. Gonna heal myself. Bam, right back up to full health. And other than that, yeah, we're done. So let's wait on this next one. All right, here comes the Mad Gnome. And the plush doll is where? Okay, so that's the only thing she could get out right now was one. So this is my chance to, uh, let's see, I've only got two spells. I could stun her. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I fell into the trap. That was awesome. All right, let's move him back up. And yes, we'll get to stun her. Distant stun. Boom. And actually I'll save that one mana. Hopefully I'll get a better spell after this turn. She can bring out the plush doll again. Actually, I don't know if it'll let her bring out a plush doll if she's stunned. I don't think it will. So I did get caught by a trap, hit by the gnome, but that's all she can do. No, she can pull out the plush doll, but she can't move because she's stunned. And I believe she can't cast any spells either. Does she have anything else? Nope, nothing else. All right, so what we're gonna do, we didn't get any other abilities. This is awesome. Um, can we kill that guy? No, so we're going to run back here and grab this heal. Move this guy to, uh, to here. And we're going to summon him here. Actually, let's kind of do it. Let's see, one, two. Yeah, right there. Decisions, decisions. This stuff is tough. All right, and he's going to think he's going to get a kill on him, but uh, we're going to use a shield on him. Bam. All right, he's safe for right now. I don't think he can get to me currently as far as being able to get to me with his actual character. I know his minions shouldn't have that far of a reach. And I'm not sure if we're gonna get any more spells. So is this person giving up? They're not doing anything. Hello. Um, yeah, so kind of in a stalemate, this person hasn't moved. So we got another heal back there, another heal on their side. Um, I guess now is the uh, play you make to just run to their base, I guess. So we're going to wait the full 45 seconds. The whole 45 seconds. They conceded. All right, we won. Stalemated them so hard, they gave up. All right, guys, this is Little Lords of Twilight. If you want to download this game, like I said, there is a link in the description. You will be able to download iOS and Android. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I also want to thank Team Media again for sponsoring this video. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Ash. You guys have a nice day.